Hi, this is Merv Barrett from Real Estate Connected, the creator of Easy Property Listings. And in this video, I'm going to show you how to install the FeedSync REA XML preprocessor, which will prepare files for import into your website. The REA XML format is used widely in Australia and New Zealand. And the way those files work are there are lots of little individual files that come through as listing changes are made in the systems that the agents are using. And those files need to be put into a single file so that it can be imported uh, into WordPress or any other custom application you have. Uh, so it's quite easy to install FeedSync and let's get to that right now. So this demo will be showing you how to install FeedSync using a cPanel installation, but it can be done on Plex or any other uh, server format you have. And with cPanel, all we need to do is use cPanel to create a database, upload the files, and create an FTP account for your provider to upload the files to. So the first thing you want to do is jump over to the file manager in cPanel. We're going to go to the public HTML folder and we're going to create a directory called XML. I'm going to press new folder and XML. Uh, now we're going to go into the XML folder and we've already downloaded our latest version of FeedSync. At this video time it was FeedSync 2.2 and we're just going to, once you download it from your account at Easy Property Listings, just press the upload button and drag and drop the zip or select the file. And once that's uploaded, we need to extract the zip. You can also use FTP, you can unzip it here and then upload the files individually. Um, but this is a simpler solution. You don't even need FTP to set FeedSync up. So I'm going to jump back to File Manager and reload to see the new zip file. I'm just going to select it and choose Extract. OK, and I'm going to refresh. And now we have a feed sync directory. Um, this was compressed on a Mac, so there's a Mac file that can be deleted. It's uh, no harm. Okay, so now we have feed sync installed, but we need to configure an SQL database where the listings are saved uh, so that they can be imported. Uh, so we're going to jump into the feed sync directory, and you'll see that there's some folders in here. And when you update the plugin, our goal is to just either have you update the core folder. So you can actually leave the input and process folders alone um, so that all your existing files are left alone and maintained. So next we need to open up the config.php. And this is very similar to installing WordPress manually. So just going to press code editor and edit. Again, you can log in via FTP and do this as well. And we have some fields to fill in. So we need a database name, uh, we need the database username, and we need a password. And we also need to set the URL of the FeedSync installation here. So we're going to jump back to cPanel and we're going to go to MySQL databases and we're going to create a new empty database. So I'm going to call this FeedSync Training. and create that database. So next we're going to, we've just added a database, Easy Demo FeedSync Training, so we're going to copy that. We're going to jump back over to our file editor and we're going to paste that in there. Next we need to create a user in for an SQL database to work. So that's the user that gets access to that. Uh, without a user you can't connect to the database. So we can see that the database I've created is there, Easy Demo Feed Sync Training, and there's no user. So we need to create one and then add that user to the database. So we're going to call this Feed Training, and I'm going to give it a password. I like using long secure passwords, and I use one password on my PC and Mac to generate nice long secure passwords. I'm going to copy that scramble of passwords and paste that in. And again, I'm going to create the database user. So we've now created a user, and I've got the password saved in my when I did copy and paste. So it's going to paste that password in. And we're going to jump back to the get the file, the username, and paste that in to the username section. Okay, the last step is to tell FeedSync where it lives and add the user. Uh, 
So we'll jump back uh, back to the databases, go back, and the last step, if you don't do this, you're gonna have a, a connection issue, uh, and it won't work. But if you choose, so we choose our FeedSync user that we just created, and our new database, which is FeedSync Training. And we're gonna press Add. And choose all privileges on the, the SQL database, so that FeedSync can make the changes it needs to to the database when it's importing and processing files. So it's gonna press Make Changes. Okay, so now we've created a database and a user and assigned the user to the database. So if we go back to the SQL databases, you'll see that we now have easy demo training and there is a privileged user who can access that database. The next, the last step to, in the config file before you close is to find the URL. So in this, so we're gonna paste the URL for our feed sync in there. And because we put the wrong URL in, we're going to have a, a broken page. Uh, so just go back to your settings and make sure you put the right directory. In this case, I had a, a subdirectory called training and I it was supposed to be in the training folder, but I didn't put it there. So I'm just going to press save changes and refresh FeedSync. And once it's up and running, it should look like that. Okay, so FeedSync is now installed and ready to receive files um, to process. Now, when their files listed, they'll be listed underneath the big gray box here, and you'll know that there are files waiting. So the next step to import listings into WordPress. So now that FeedSync's installed, it's ready to receive your XML files from your provider. Now, the last step to getting the, your site ready or your FeedSync installation ready for receiving files is to create a unique FTP account to give to your provider, which will keep your site secure so they're only getting access to the input folder and uh, it's just a better way to set up your FeedSync installation. So again, jump back to your cPanel, uh, go to the home page, and look for FTP accounts. So click on FTP accounts and we're going to create a, a unique login for the provider to use. So in this particular case, we'll call it REA XML. Uh, let's call it training. And we're going to give it a password. Now in this, usually we like to use really long passwords, but some providers, um, it's better to have a shorter 10 character password. And like this, when we create this account, it, they're going to be limited to a specific folder with nothing in it. Uh, once FeedSync processes the files, it'll move them away. Um, so there's, it's quite okay to have a non very long secure password in this particular case. So 10 characters is plenty. So I'm just going to copy that password and paste it in. And the last step is to change the directory. So in this particular case, we've got public HTML, which is how cPanel usually works. If I put an X in here, we should find the XML directory an F for feed sync and we want to choose the input folder so the files will be arriving directly into the input folder processed by feed sync and moved to the process folder so this directory will be, frequently be empty unless there's files waiting to be processed so once we've done that create the FTP account now for safekeeping uh, if you jump back to your config file um, we've put a little section here so you can save your FTP account details because it's a good place to save it is here. So I'm just going to paste that password in. Uh, we've given a, we've created a specific username account, so it's REA XML training. So I'm going to copy that and put that for the username and the site URL in this case will be easy property listings demo. And save those changes. Now we have some, on our codex, we have some installation instructions and forms depending on which provider. Uh, one is, for example, My Desktop. If you just search for My Desktop on the codex.easypropertylistings.com, you'll see My Desktop um, installation instructions. And here you can download the application, uh, get the fact sheet for setting things up. And all you need to do is fill out the form in my desktop's case with the FTP details we just saved to the config file so that they can start delivering files to your installation. I think we also have Rex or locked on. Uh, Portal pushes some instructions there on how to push 
to listings to the portal. Um, and that's pretty much how you install FeedSync on your site ready to go. So let's pretend a few days has passed, you've sent off your application, um, and now you've, you've come back a couple days later to look at your FeedSync file, and they've dropped some files into the input folder directly. So I've got some sample files that I've saved previously, and let's just find some here. And I'm just going to open up these directories so I can just drag and drop the files. Okay, so one day comes along, and we now have, say, they've dropped off 10 or 15 files into your FeedSync directory. I'm just going to put them in there. So when you come back to your FeedSync and you refresh the page a couple days later, uh, you'll see this. So we haven't set up any cron jobs to automate importing. I don't recommend doing that until you've processed it the first time. Um, so let's just do that now. So once the files are ready for processing, just press the process feed and process the listings. That last file was a bit bigger, so there we go. So now if we jump, we've come, all the files are being processed, we jump over to listings tab, you'll see there's a whole pile of listings all ready to go. And there you have it. So every time you've imported listings, they automatically have the coordinates generated if they need to be generated. And the last step is to automate FeedSync. And what you need to do is set up a cron job. A cron job basically runs a command uh, on a regular basis and it'll execute FeedSync every few minutes. And we usually set that to eight minutes. So what you need to do is go back to your cPanel homepage, press the cron jobs, and here you'll see a page which explains on how to configure cron jobs. Now, what we do is you choose custom settings and choose once per five minutes, and we usually set it to eight, uh, as a preference. And we, if you jump over to your FeedSync installed version and jump over to the help page, scroll down to the cron job section, how to set up your cron jobs, and you can just copy this command. And copy that command and paste that into the cron jobs command page, paste that in there, and add a new cron job. So what will happen now is FeedSync every eight minutes will execute automatically, and it will import any listings that have appeared, uh, and it will automatically import into your FeedSync installation. Now to pull a list of your listings, if you choose listings, you'll see that we've got some rentals, we have some residential, and we have some land listings. So with FeedSync, basically all these listings are now available through a, a URL. So if you jump back over to the help page and scroll down the bottom, you'll see the command to output, say, the residential listing type. So if we copy that and paste that in a browser, we'll get a list of all the residential listings, which can be then used to import from into your WordPress website or easy property listings or any other custom program you've, you're using. So we choose rental. We'll generate a list of all the rental types. You can see there's rental there, rental and land. And that's how FeedSync works. So basically, once you've installed, you're importing your listings. Every eight minutes, FeedSync will now run and automatically import your listings into the database, ready to be imported into your WordPress website or custom application. Thanks for watching the video. I hope you've enjoyed this quick little video on how to install FeedSync. And thanks for watching.